Welcome back to Primetime Sports Sunday. The West Indies eked out a dramatic one-wicket win over Pakistan on day four of the first test at Savannah Park on Sunday to take a one-nil lead in the two-match series. Jeremy Brown has the details. Pakistan resumed the day four on 160 for five in their second innings and with hopes Runs of here. a substantial victory target to Pickles give the Caribbean the side. But it was the experienced Kemal yes. Roach who got the West Indies off to the ideal start as he had Fahim Ashraf nicking off to wicketkeeper Joshua Da Silva for 20 at 168 for six. The focus was now on captain Babar Azam, Pakistan's premier batsman. But two runs later, Carl Mears had him looping one to Jason Holder at second slip as he departed for 55. Pakistan were now 170 for seven. And it was downhill for them thereafter as the West Indies, led by 19-year-old Jaden Seals, quickly wrapped up their innings. The visitors who lost their last five wickets for 31 runs were dismissed for 203. Seals ended with 5 for 55 and at 19 years and 339 days became the youngest West Indian to take five wickets in a test match, breaking the previous record held by Jamaican spin legend Alf Valentine. Roach ended with 3 for 30. Set 168 to win, the West Indies were quickly set back in their quest at 16 for 3. Captain Craig Brathwaite, too. Karen Powell, who survived the two reviews before being given out after a third for four. And Jamaica's and Kuma Bana, five, all going to the exciting Shaheen Shaw Afridi. In a match featuring two of the most unpredictable teams in Test cricket, it was Pakistan who now had their tails up. But Jamaica's Jermaine Blackwood and Roston Chase would threaten to take it away for the hosts with a 68 run fourth wicket partnership. However, a double strike from Ashraf to get rid of Chase for 22 at 84 for 4 and then Mayers for a duck at 92 for 5 brought Pakistan firmly back into the contest. And then there was this stunner from Imran Butt to get rid of Blackwood for 55 to leave the Caribbean side at 111 for 6. It became 114 for 7 when Hassan Ali bowled Jason Holder on the stroke of lunch to put the Pakistanis firmly on top. The West Indies still needing 54 for victory with Joshua Da Silva, the only recognized batsman left. And there will be further heart palpitations for the West Indies and their fans when Da Silva went for 13 at 142 for 8. And the match seemed all but over when Jamel Warrican went at 151 for 9. But in Roach, the West Indies found a Silva lining as he, along with Jaden, sealed a thrilling victory for the Caribbean side at 168 for 9. Roach was left unbeaten on 30, while man of the match, Seals, was two not out. Just stay positive, that's me. Um, I know it was, it was, it was fair reach. Um, I just tell myself, just believe, um, bat each ball at a time. As our batting coach says, Monty, um, one ball battles. I just try to take on every ball at a time. So uh, I know that Shiny was the track, so I try to keep him out as best as I could. But at the end of the day, it came off and we won the test match. Never lost hope. You know, this, the, the attitude we had at, at tea time. You know, from, from Josh coming in and making a lot of suggestions. You know, I, I never I never lost what is truly amazing. The second test starts on Friday, also at Sabina Park.